going on guys coming out to the video here so today i'm going to change the cabin air filter on my 2021 ford mustang mach -E. and right now my car has 21 well, i'm not 21 25,105 miles and i have never changed the cabin air filter on this car it's pretty standard from the way i'm looking at it um let's get to it so one thing we gotta do is obviously open the uh, glove compartment and then there's two hinges here so we're gonna push this one pop this one here pop that one there come down and then on this side i'm gonna have to open the door there's a little tab right here and we can just pull this out just like that as if you take out all your stuff in your glove compartment before it doesn't fall to the ground like like just happened but uh let's check it out here right, now i know there's two tabs on the side um there'll be one over here we just push out and see how it's kind of already falling there, th down, I should say. Then this other tab is hidden right over there, right behind this uh, this screw or bolt. So we push that back, and I can feel it, and we should be able to pull it down, and there we go. And again, my car is 25,000 miles. I've never changed it out, so let's see how dirty it is. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that's dirty. So there we go. There's the uh, dirty one to my left. To my right, it's a clean one. Um, again, this is my first time changing after 25,000 miles. That's my my bad on my part. But you know what? These air filters are hard to come by. Luckily, uh, um, Ford called me to say they had some in stock, so I, I picked up three. You know, I wanted to change this out fit when my car had 15,000 miles on it. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and reinstall it back in to um, get my new part put on top of the old part make sure it's the right size which it is um, one thing when we took out the old part it showed the airflow on our side but it has to go in like this so make sure the airflow arrow is going down as you install it we're going to put it on, on the sideways and that's how it looks in there and let's swap that out or let's insert the new one i should say uh, there's be a little little fiddling going on Fiddling kind of squeeze the sides over here and it sh see how smoothly it goes in. And bam. And now just kind of, there we go. Make sure these are locked back in on the sides. There we go. All nicely secure. Pull on top to make sure. And then now we just connect this back over here. And we can just pop that in. And then we just pretty much have that go on its own. Pull it up, and yeah, that's it. And that's how you change the uh, cabin air filter. Over here is how much I paid for it. Um, as you can see there, I paid $29.95 for one. I bought three, $90 was the total. Um, I'm gonna put the part numbers right here on the left-hand side. So if you guys wanna find it, that's it right there. And I'll put the... Um, the uh the part number in this description box so you guys can know and with that being said i'll catch you guys later